everyone, my name is Rachel Nath and I am here to teach you and help you learn all about chemical reactions. Not just any chemical reactions, the difference between an endothermic reaction and an exothermic reaction. But before we get started, what is a chemical reaction? I'm so glad you asked. A chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances, reactants, are being converted into one or more different substances. So our first process coming up is our boiling pot of hot water. Look at all those bubbles. But before we get into it, face me. Endothermic is two words compounded. Endo means internal. So when we breathe in, we are inhaling and taking in carbon dioxide and oxygen. Now we paint over to the pot, the pot. Just like the pot of boiling hot water is taking in energy and heat is being transferred to the surroundings. That is the same thing. So in endothermic process, the boiling water is a perfect example because energy and heat are being added and bonds are being broken to turn a liquid into a gas because as the water temperature increases, the, the heat gets hotter, which is our endothermic process. So now we come over here to our next example, our ice cubes. Now before we started this out, it was our, our ice cubes were bigger and larger because the freezer is colder. Now that we put them in a room temperature bowl, the ice cubes have melted. They've melted because they are exothermic. Now to me. Exo is meaning taking out. Remember how we <gasps> breathed in? We let it out because exo means we're taking out. Just like we were taking in carbon dioxide and oxygen, we were taking out, breathing out carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Same for our exothermic process. Ice cubes melting is a perfect example of an exothermic process because energy and heat are being released and condensation is being added. And what condensation is, is where, a, where bonds are being added to make a solid piece of ice into a liquid form. So now we have a difference between endothermic and exothermic. And remember that endothermic is like we are inhaling, exo is like we are exhaling. And remember that heat is being added, energy is being transferred, and heat and energy is being released. Well, hope that helps you learn all about endothermic and exothermic reactions. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and like and subscribe below.